Over 24 screens fitted in this bus. Crazy Some work, yo. The front, the top corners. The seats, everything customized. Everything is straight customized. Look at the wrap, man. Hey. That is talent. What's good, y'all? It's the Doom Machettes React, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, C? Today we're back with another American reaction. So excited about this video. If you're new to us, and we're new to you, make sure you scroll down, hit that subscribe button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're on the road to 200k. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family without further ado. Let's get into the video. Let's get it. Remember this? My tattoo. This is the Matatu. Oh, I visited oh. at the fabrication place when it was being built from ground up. Today I'm back in CBD. That is the central business district of Nairobi. And I'm about to board this Matatu to Embakasi. So today I am going to show you the interior of this Matatu because last time I wasn't able to show you the interior of the Matatu because it was being built. I think it's the first time we've seen the Matatu this chilled in this type of oh. environment. <laughs> Usually it's crazy. Like you got people around, you got people on board. They really gave time and look, all the attention going straight to this Matatu. Everybody must be at work already. Something must be going on because it's quiet today. Before I proceed to show you the spectacular interior of this bus, let's have a quick recap of when I first visited the assembly plant. Oh, the bus the, is built from scratch. That's wild. Chelsea, okay, okay, okay. And the owners usually spend $75,000 to complete this. This is a multi-billion industry where some individuals own more than five of these matatus at a time. I'm with these two gentlemen over here. Who are you? I'm the driver of the bus. You are the driver of the bus? Oh, sorry. And you? Who are you? I'm the main conductor of this matatu. You're the main conductor of this matatu. Yeah. Okay, so what is the name of this matatu? Aftermath. Aftermath, yeah. Is there any reason why you named it Aftermath? Yeah, because of the legend who have been drawn on the vehicles. Yeah. Oh, okay. How long have you been driving this matatu? For the past three months. For the past three months? Yeah, everything is fine for the culture. I actually love the matatu culture. Okay, so I'll be entering very soon to see the interior. Hi. Hello. You know what, what? I've been talking to some of the passengers and I realize sometimes the conductors they treat them very bad. Is that true? No. That's a lie. You treat the passengers with dignity. Yes, we treat them with good dignity and we give stop. good customer service in this manana manyang. It's called manyang. Stop. What is the name again? Manyanga. Manyanga. Yes. So you treat the passengers with dignity yes. and a very good customer service. Yes, we do, we do treat them with good dignity and good customer service in this manyang. But I realize that the sound or the music is always loud. Is that something which is okay? Okay. People with this matter to got that vibe. The people who enter this matter to have that vibe of loud music. You know, they get to enjoy the loud music in this matter to, and they good they play good quality music. Quality music. Yeah. But that hasn't it affected your ears? No, it doesn't affect our ears. <laughs> you are always in this matter to. No, it doesn't affect our ears at all at all because we run with the music. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But I remember growing up and we just drive around with the music loud. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of people be like, yo, they don't bother your ears like, you know what I'm saying? Because we just had the music blasting, you know, with the trunks and the rattling and all that stuff. So it's like, mm -hmm. yeah, I hear where you're coming from with that. Yeah, Matatus remind me of our party buses. I may have said this before, but it's been a while since we reacted to Matatus. Mm -hmm. But it reminds me of our party buses. Like we have, it's not like a regular mode of transportation. It's only for parties. Party. Basically, yeah. and they ride around and some of them have dance floor. I wanted to say something, something else. else. They yeah, have, yeah. you know, but I'm not going to say it. Well, I am going to say it. But they have, generally, they have, you know, the seats in the back, but depending on the age group that they're targeted for, mm. they'll have a dance floor, and some of them have, you know, poles, you know, for a different type of dancing. Um, it's just fun. You know, and some of them we have train the train like the railroad trains. That's like generally in New Orleans. Yeah, that's the vibe. It's a yeah. little slow mo. Yeah, so it's it's fun. Got the flashing lights, the neon lights going off and on. You know what I'm saying? It's hey. Yeah, but it's not like a normal everyday thing like a matasu. Nah. Thank you very much. So I'm gonna board now. <laughs> Oh, what's the Not on the aftermath, huh? Is it the videos on here, maybe? You haven't seen anything yet. 
Wow, just look at the interior. That is splendid. I guess you never thought that is how the interior would look like. You are the Over 24 screens fitted in this bus. Crazy Some work, yo. The front, the top corners, behind every seat, anywhere you can think of. Child, I thought that was BG for a second. You are, you are. <laughs> Pimp My Ride was doing crazy work like this. Oh, yeah. Pimp huh. My Ride would get cars, trucks, any any level vehicle you got, and it would do this work right mm -hmm. here. To the seats, to the TV, everything, bro. Like, yeah, this the is speakers, a vibe. everything. Is a this vibe. is a lot of money that they put into this. Mm. And they say they, they like, they, it's not around long, right? Like they take it down and they, then they reconstruct something totally different. Oh, yeah, I think I heard something similar I, to that. Yeah, yeah I they, forgot someone how did say something long like that. Do it. Mm hmm. Yeah. The seats, everything customized. Everything is straight customized. Loud music, Afrobeat, dancehall, RB, gospel, you name them. And on top of this, there is free Wi Fi. Hard. Free Wi Fi. That's where your soul is at. Mm hmm. I'm glad. I, I like they got seatbelts. Buses yeah. gonna be having seatbelts. The bus is full, so we'll move now. But do you know why it got full in no time? The youth really patronize this because of the entertainment system. So you see, that is a very smart marketing strategy. Of course, they pay more than the ordinary matatu. These are other customized matatu at the terminal okay. waiting for passengers to board them. Many of these matatus have very interesting and trendy names. Wow. Look at That's the Squid crazy. Game. That was hard. El so I guess my question would be how do they know not to do the same art? twice and i know you can't just replicate it twice as in the same design and all but we got squid games you probably won't see another squid games right. so how do they know not to do the same you know like theme let's say let's say that theme twice you know what i'm saying well this is is this only in nairobi because they it's at the assembly plant so they would know but if it wasn't true, only true, in true, one true. city yeah you know then i would see how because that's a lot they be pushing these out, like, mm -hmm. you see a lot of these. Drino and Pretty. The Look at the rap, man. Hey. That is talent. As you can see, the bus has moved. Unfortunately, these buses hardly respect the road regulations. They overspeed every time. Hmm. Man, this is scary. I would think it would be like if a little you know, vibe, you know what I'm saying? Like loud music, you better keep earmuffs in your bag and use them anytime you bought this matatu. It is time for the conductor to collect the face. Right by the speakers. That sounds like reggae. And this gospel song comes in handy. I really needed it at this point. <laughs> the journey has been scary. <laughs> oh, bro. Look, they got an exhibit on there. That remix hey, is damn. crazy though. <laughs> you could tell how relieved my friend was after getting off the matatu. Now this is the part I'm talking about right here. 
I hope you enjoyed this episode. All right, we're going to stop it right there. Make sure you guys check the channel out. This is the part I'm talking about, the end of nightlife when everybody outside, everybody getting on board. Yeah, and they first previewing it. Yeah, yeah. And, and even the um competitions just about when oh, they be hitting yeah. horns and Try. trying to get... Yeah, hey. Listen. It's action, real action. I like the Masasus. And y'all said that the culture was changing because of the electric vehicles and things like that. I wonder how I, that's going to turn out. Yeah, I hope that they're still mm. able to, you know, revamp and innovate. And, yeah. Yeah, grow the culture even more. We hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Be sure to subscribe. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.